for the force, the attack on one of their officers was incendiary. I took it as a personal attack. I'd never met PC Rathband, but he was one of my colleagues, and I've been in that position before. I've been sitting in my police vehicle on static patrol, watching um, what's going on round about me, and you think, yeah, that could have that could have been me. During the middle of the following night, Moat visited a friend's house to deliver a 40-page letter confessing to the shooting. This letter was the innermost thoughts of a man right on the edge. He was unburdening everything about his motivation for the shootings. It was deluded and um, um, it was paranoid, but in his eyes, it was a justification for his actions. He wrote, the crimes I have committed are to people who have wronged me in some way. It gave us a bit of an insight into what was making him tick. We were able to identify there was somebody here that uh, wasn't going to be found easily, um, but it was somebody who was contemplating taking his own life as well. The letter continues, all my life I wanted death, hence the reason I took risks and made the worst kind of enemies. It's always somebody else's fault with most. It's, it's, always, it's often the police's fault social services, it's girlfriend's fault, it's very rarely Raoul Moat's fault. Finally, Moat threatens, I will keep killing police until I'm dead. They've hunted me for years, now it's my